So is your um, Berera Gagia or Gagia, however they say it, um, suffering with leaks like so? There's only a few places that uh, the leak is coming through. And I'm gonna show you how to repair with hardly, to be honest with you, any knowledge of engineering or any special tools. So this has been going on for some time and I don't see why I should have a tray under there all the time. It's just not right. So I'm gonna have a go at repairing it. So searching on the net, um, I found that leaks can be from a few places, to be honest. Um, one place could be inside there. These seals here, the O-rings. It could be from the ring from the glue itself. This, or it could be from the water container, the back here. So rather than trial and error, I decided to order parts for this, this and this at the same time from uh, a place on the web and I'll send you links. So you get the rings here. That's for there and there. And these will be for this. And I noticed a lot of people making it look complicated by removing this, removing all this, but really there's no need. All you need to use is a little screwdriver to do the whole lot. I'm not an engineer or a tech guy, but I'll show you how it's done. Let's start with these. Look, I know people say take these out, but really there's no need to do this. All you need to is a little flat blade screwdriver and voila, that's one. Actually, it's actually broken as well. So, per, uh, you know, it could be this that caused the problem. And let's take the small one out too. Same way, method, same method. There. That's this one. I'll just clean around there with a bit of tissue. Just take the first ring and put it through, just slide it, it should just slide up into place. So he says, There you go, that's the one. Next one, let's do the small one. With the smaller piece, it's a bit tight and a bit too small. So perhaps play with it until one side slips in. And when one side goes in, try and pull the other side up, just like so. Voila, that's done. No need to take this off at all. Let's do this bit now. So, same principle, that's for this one, screw driver inside and just slip it off, voila, and that's this one. Next one, same principle again, start from one end. I can my if I can get my big fat fingers through and just keep sliding it until it goes in there see no need to take all this apart there are lots of springs and bits and pieces inside you're gonna lose that's all okay the last bit is this what goes wrong in there is actually this piece okay so to take them off there's a little thing that's holding the plastic here. You pull it away and then you'll find the top will just pull away. And the same thing for this side. See? Just make sure you know how everything goes back in again. If you get closer up, 
discuss this piece. So this first bit is the, uh, the wider bit that will go in there. I'm going to use actually the same old one, to be honest with you, because um, there's nothing wrong with it. That's just going to be kept as a spare, the new one. You never know when this has to be done again in the future. I might break it next time. So that's in. As for this section, That's this one, which is normally the culprit. And then you'll see, just notice the way this is actually in. You no need to touch the spring, but just notice the one, two, three, four, five, six bits, whatever they're called, the way it fits. So I'm just gonna use the new one for that. Should just slip on and really that's it the whole thing can be put back together again that's it simple as that just making sure that these are locked in place by pressing it back in like so that's not going nowhere and Ready, that's the installation complete. You see how quick it was using just fingers and a little flat end screwdriver. All parts now can be put back together. Obviously, whilst it's out, clean it, grease it, put it all back together. Bye bye, Trey.